Hi there, this is the Music Makers at the Keyboard book for lesson 52. And I have my homework sheet in front of me and we're gonna go over all the assignments together. So here we go, we're gonna start with our scales and we have a new arpeggio um, version that's followed after each, each key, each scale. So I'm going to um, play the C major scale in the right hand. Do, re, mi, fa, so, ti, do. And then I'm going to do my one chord arpeggio, my four chord, and then I'm going to go straight to five, seven. Left hand, I'm going to go over the arpeggios in the order and um, I'm going to give you a few little tricks to make this easier. So here we go. Here's my one chord. Do, mi, so. Going to four, which note am I going to play again? Which note is going to be my anchor? The one that I'm going to play again in the four chord. You are right. It is the do. So I'm going to think thumb stays where it is. And all what I need to do, I'm going to shift my third and my fifth finger over one step. See? My thumb stays. Shift. And now I'm here. Now I'm going to go from four chord to five, seven chord. Which note will be played again? that I played in the four chord, now playing in the five, seven chord. You are right, it's the fa. This time we're not gonna play by the, with the same finger though. We are going to have to shift it down to our fourth finger, see? I'm shifting down. But this is still my anchor, the fa. And my thumb, my first finger, will move down one step, and that is my five, seven arpeggio and then i'm moving back to one chord which one is my anchor which of those t fa so i'm gonna play again you're right it's the so and my fifth finger is already on there and it'll stay all what i need to do is shift my thumb back to do all my other fingers are staying already where they are do me so one chord. I'm gonna repeat that again. Do me so. My thumb will stay. Shift third and fifth finger. Do fa la. Now I'm gonna go down to five seven, meaning I am gonna play my fa again, but with my fourth with my fourth finger. Therefore, I'm gonna move down here and shift my thumb down here. T, Fa, So. And moving back to one chord, my fifth finger is my anchor. Do, Mi, So, Do, So, So, Mi, Do. Okay, the same thing is for the left hand. Do, Mi, So. My fifth finger is on the Do and will stay there. All what I need to do here is move my thumb over. My second finger will play the fa because we're in the left hand and we have this bigger gap here and have the room. Do, fa, la. Now going to five, seven chord, we know our fa is our anchor and it happens so to be that I can keep my third, second finger on the fa. All what I need to do is go down with my outer two fingers, one step down. And then 
move my fifth finger back to do and keep everything else how it is because I'm going to keep going to play the so again do me so do do me so do fa la ti fa so do me so do and then you are going to go through all the keys that I mentioned. The next one would be the fifth one up. So one, two, three, four, five. It is the so. It's G now. Do, <clears throat> do, re, mi, fa, so, wa, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Now remember my T's down here. Next on your homework, it is the writing assignment on page 20. I'm going to go over this with you together. So this is a composition that you're doing. So please put your name on here. And we are going to do a composition of a rhythm that is given to you. And if you remember, we have been using our um, dotted duple rhythm cards. And if you find them, you will notice that these two patterns here are exactly the ones from your first card. So I'm just going to put them here. They're bigger, so I'm going to be able to see them better. And here we go. We're going to sing. We're going to chant do, de, do, do, de, do. So that's our rhythm. And the rhythm has no pitch. It's spoken. Now, our job now is to find out a melody using chord tones in the first measure using the one chord tones so we are in the key of d do so we're finding a melody that has this rhythm the do de do using do me and so or using just do and me or do and so or so and me you have all the options i'm going to sing it first before i even draw it i'm going to think about a melody um so i'm going to go so me me so me me i'm going to even play it so me me and if i like it i'm going to decide that that's, that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to draw it in so first, I'm just going to make sure I'm drawing it in the right um, places. Here's my so, and then I'm going to go right underneath my note, me, me. So these are my pitches. I have to fill two in. I'm going to give all of them a stem. What else? This one gets a dot, that's the dotted quarter note. This one gets a tail. And here is my composition. So, me, me. And here, we're gonna do it, the same thing. Let's skip over that, you do that at home. I'm gonna go over you and do the five, seven. So we have one, one, five, seven, one. Let's go to the five, seven. We have the same, this one is the same. This one, notice, is do, do, do. That is on your card. Nope, it's not on your card. doesn't matter. It is all preparation for the Largo, by the way. We have this rhythm in Largo. Steady, steady, beat. And here we have dotted. So, 5-7 chord in the key of D. We are in the key of D. So I'm going to go sing my 5-7. I'm going to hear it first. And then I'm going to have to find it. So T, Fa, Sol. Those are my pitches. So I'm going to do 
Um, fa, so, ti. How about? Fa, so, ti. So if I don't remember where my pitches are, remember we're in a key of D, do. So here's my do. So I have, um, so is on the second space, in the second space, but I'm going to start on fa, which is one step down. So that would be this one. Fa. And then I go up one. So. And then I'm going down to my C sharp. So remember, here's the D. Then comes the ledger line. And the C is a line note. Okay. And that would be my C sharp. It is written in here. I don't have to mark it. So let's add what we need to add. Okay. We need to fill in these dots. Uh, these note heads. Maybe fill this one in. No. Um, stem. All of them got a stem. Got it. We got a dot here again and we got a tail. And here is my composition for so forty. And of course I'm going to put it up here because I want to be able to play it with the chord in the left hand. So here you see the chord in the left hand. It is a whole note. So this um, chord will be held for all four beats. Remember, we have four quarter beats, and a whole note has four quarter beats. There we go. S um, fa, so, T. That would be my Fa, so, T. And my last one could be So, So, Do, for example. All right, that takes care of our writing assignment. And we're moving on to improvisation. It is number three in C major. I'm going to pull that up quick. Um, it's uh, We've done this as a review. I'm just going to do that together with you um, with the demonstration here. And, um, okay, here we go. C major. There we go. Improvisation three in C major, using one and four chord. Four chord and one chord. I will improvise on a chord and leave time for you to improvise on the same chord. Okay, same chord. I will start with the one chord, improvising in the right hand. Duple meter. Composition four in C major using one and four chords. I will improvise on a chord and leave time for you to improvise on the same chord in triple meter. Triple meter. I will start with the one chord. The improv five is um, duple meter again, but this time with your left hand. Okay, then it says um, Largo. That was our new one. Oh, we skipped over that. Okay, so Largo is our new song. Beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Please take the time if you can and listen to the entire symphony sometime. Um, it is just gorgeous. We are on page 19. I always forget what page this is. Here we go. So we did already the groundwork in the class. We are only looking at the first line and at the third line this week. So we recognized rhythm patterns that were 
not the same comparing them to one uh, line one and line three. So generally speaking, we recognize the melodies are very similar and the pattern and the rhythm patterns are very similar. And the ones that are not matching up, we marked. So for example, measure one is the same as measure one in the second line. Measure two compared to the measure two in the second line is different. Remember, I actually mentioned that um, we have here, um, this was your composition um, pattern, do, de, do, and then remember at the very bottom, the last one on the four chord is steady beat, so that goes do, 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 so it's all connected, so we remember that one. These two match up, these match up, these do, these do, um, rhythm wise, not melody wise now. And then these, the end, both endings again are different. So that's what we first figured out. And then, um, we chanted the rhythm already on the melody. So we went do, day, do, do, day, do, do, day, do, day, do. Do day do do day do 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 day do and then we did this one too and then we marked chords we could should have all the chords marked here we know um we recognized the ties meaning we're playing this chord and holding it for another entire measure playing the five chord five seven chord holding it for an entire measure in the same here here we have a little changing going on just like we're doing scales four chord five seven one that's what we're pra that's why we're practicing this in the scales and similar here what's happening all right so i'm just going to play it what i would uh suggest you play it first um left hand and maybe hum or sing the melody undo and do day do day do do day do do day do day do do day do do day do do day do day do second a third line do day do steady beat do day do day do do day do Kids like to repeat that last part a couple times because it's so beautiful. Here it is together. into the last three measures or I'm actually going to start right here last four do, day, do. once they've done that they're going to lift up their hand and they lift it up and they're going to find treble C with the third finger remember here's my middle C and we're ending the song in treble C and then it goes do, day, do, step down, one more step down, step up, and then my thumb is here on la, la, do. I'm 
Okay, so this is La. La Tito. Okay. Great. That takes care of Largo. Have a lot of fun. And then listening um, assignment is also here. Um, to You can read this together. We talked about Anthony Dvorak and that he actually has ties to Iowa and was very influenced by uh, Native American music and also gospels and spirituals of the African American uh, music. Very interesting uh, composer. Anyways, um, here's an excerpt, very exciting, uh, passionate excerpt also um, on your listening to CD. They can um, follow along. Do... Do 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 and then there's a triple pa pa pam 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 that's a triplet so we just quickly explained that all three notes there is one beat I've got to put three in one all right exciting stuff next is I don't want this to get too long today um the drumming that's another great song i want to just quick point out that please do the drumming together as a family this is really fun siblings joining these are rhythm patterns that are somewhat used in this marushka dance and i'm just gonna quick demonstrate what i mean again these are all rhythms that are precursors for largo and um, you also notice, obviously, I mentioned that it's also um, in your writing assignment. So we're going to go to listening CD. And there should be the Marushka dance on track seven. So I'm just going to quick point out some rhythms that I recognize. They can follow them along. And once you did that a couple of times, get your drum out and just see if, you, if they can just play any of these rhythms and they'll have that in their body so here we go do 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 they do Just stopped it quick and let's just do a little bit of starting with our drums. Do, 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 they do. Do, 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 they do, they do. Do, they do, they do, they do, they do, 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 they do. stuff um please um keep reviewing the old pieces zoom 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 and um bill Aboo and john's idea all this fun stuff and also the purple book the kids have room here to write it in and please i always forget to mention don't forget to write in their as their accomplishments right here piano assignments listening writing and piano playing so um, keep track of this and put some stickers in there so they can see their accomplishments have a great week thank you